Ashley, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. We are going to be doing a little bit of splatter paint DIY art. So I want to decorate my apartment a little bit more, and splatter paints I love, and I think it would be a great way to spruce up the place, but I've never done it before. So you're going to go along for the ride with me, because I have no idea what I am doing but I think it'll be fun. So let's head over to Michael's and get our supplies. All right, let's go do this. Time to get smart supplies. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go do this. Alright, so I think I'm looking for canvas and craft paints. So, right. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'm not looking for craft paints. Maybe I'm looking for something else. Nope, that's not good. Okay, I think I'm just going to get the cheapest ones. Because uh, I need a lot of brushes, each for its individual paint. So, probably just get the cheapest one. Okay, so me being picky and stuff, I'm going to get a um, 15 piece set, which is only two books more, so let's go get that. Of course. I found the canvases, yay! Yeah, so I think I'm going to get two of these, 12 by 12s. And just to practice, I'm probably going to get. 8 by 8 just so I don't mess up. They just have everything here, don't they? It's awesome. I'm seriously wondering if I should pick up my Halloween stuff right now. <laughs> I've literally just walked over the entire store and the paints were right in the section where the brushes were. <laughs> I feel so dumb. <laughs> Okay, I found a cheaper one than this. This! Seven pieces, 15 bucks? I think that's good. I got way too much stuff. Your receipt and a coupon starts on Sunday. Awesome, thanks so much. much. You too. Okay, I spent way too much there. <laughs> Target has drop glass, which is awesome. All right, so got that done. Now on to the arts and crafts. All right, so I am back from Michael's. I've got all my supplies and I'm ready to start. Now I got my hair up, out of the way of any paint. I'm gonna go put my drop cloth down. want to get eight or ten however many colors you have of these Dixie cups because this is what the paint is going to be going into because you're going to mix the paint with a little bit of water to make it more splattable more yeah so grab some Dixie cups now I have my seven pack of canvases uh, 12 by 12 and the reason I got seven was because they're cheaper and I need a few extra to practice on, make sure I got the technique right. I've got some tape, just in case I want to mask off any layers. Then I've got my awesome set of paints in the rainbow flag colors and the transparent flag colors. So I'm going to start off Testing, let's say, let's, let's test orange. So I'm gonna test orange on my canvas and yeah, let's see how that goes. So first thing you wanna do is 
should want to open it. Grab a Dixie cup. Shake it up, of course. And I'm going to just pour a little bit in. Don't know if you can see that. Let's see. That was probably that much. Um, that's okay. So we got orange. Uh, it looks pretty runny right now. But I think I want to add just a tad bit of water. All right. So I added literally just a few drops of water. So the first one that I'm going to choose to try is going to be this type of paintbrush. I want to stir up the paint first a little bit. Let's see. That's kind of the consistency that we have going on right now. And the stuff that I looked up online said to kind of just flick it. So let's see what that does. Ooh, that looks really cool. Let's see. I'm just wondering how far the paint's getting. Ooh, I like that. That is really awesome. Now, what I'm doing is I'm doing a technique um, where you get little streaks of it going across, which is where you take it and you flick it in a motion like that. And that helps get the little streaks across. But I think if you want to do like that, you get, yep. If you just tap it like that, you get a little more, uh, uh, just dots. So that's another way to do it. And then let's see here. I really, I really like this technique. Um, I think the consistency is looking really good. So I'm just going to leave it like that. But what I do want to do is I do want to mask off part of my canvas that I want to be working on um, so that the lines of the flag don't run together or anything. Okay, that looks awesome. So, orange, yay, that works. I'm impressed. Now I just need to mask, mask it off. All right. Okay, so what I did was I actually just put some paper towels down. Um, I kind of measured out with my fingers how large each stripe needs to be. So I just kind of did that. And I already mixed up some of, I chose to go with a little glitter red uh, for my first stripe because I love glitter, but I only want one stripe to be glitter. I think that's going to look really cool and not too, uh, not too overpowering. So let's try this. Let's get the orange out of the way. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's not as red as I thought it was going to be. Let's just see. But that was a really nice flat. It might dry red. I'm putting, if you can tell, a little bit like globby. <laughs> um, just, oof, that was not on there. Just so that it gets a nice little splat going. Uh, you know what, I'm actually going to try something. I'm going to add a little bit more paint. I think I watered it down just a bit. Like I said, these paints, uh, these are just regular acrylic paints. These ones are already a bit runny, so I don't know if they actually need any water. Ooh, that one was really cool. And you know what, I actually, I think I want to combine the techniques. So I'm going to do a little more splat like that all the way across just to kind of even it out. You can tell I'm just taking it and I'm just flicking it with my wrist. Uh, that gets the kind of movement that I wanted. I'm still making it look really cool. You don't want too much white showing I, I feel, but you also don't want the paint to like be over loading it. I think that this is getting to be a really nice, uh, happy medium. All right, I like that. Let's leave that. Let's take up the 
paper towels. Ooh, all right, that looks really good. So these paper towels, I could probably use them again, but I don't want any bleeding between the lines. So I'm not going to. Um, I'm actually going to wait for this to dry a little bit so I can put the paper towels over this and cover it up between the red and the orange lines. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm gonna start on the trans pride flag now. So I laid out the dimensions, I think, of the trans pride flag, which is a little different because it has five stripes instead of six. So, you know, I really should have opened this blue <laughs> off camera. Uh, let's see. I'm not the greatest at opening things, guys. All right, here's this blue that I got. That's baby blue, because that's the color on the trans pride flag. Again, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. More than a little bit, but that's fine. And this time I wanna try and not add any water uh, and see what it looks like. So this one, I do not have any water in. It's looking pretty good, I think. I, I think that with these acrylics, these are Craft, Craft Smart um, paints from Michaels. I don't think these need a lot of water. I think that they're pretty good just leaving them there. I kind of like it. I mean, you, if you want to go for, I guess, a little more splotchy, you can put a little more water in, but I kind of like this. This is good. I don't know. I, you know, there's so many different ways that you can do splatter art. I mean, just experiment, try, and see what you like. Like I said, this is my first time doing splatter art. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know, I just, I really like it. I love this kind of art style too, so that's what's really cool. All right, so for this one, I think I needed just maybe like three or four drops of water. Honestly, not that much. I think I needed just a little bit more water, so I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be right back. Blue's done, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off carefully, and I'm gonna let the blue dry. Again, so I can put the paper towels down because he got nice two stripes, two pink right there, and then there's going to be a white one in the middle. So I'm just going to let it dry. What I did now was I covered the red so that it doesn't get any on the red or overlap the red too much, and I covered the rest of the bottom also. So here we go. Let's do orange. See, that is why... I have the paper towels down. Again, take away the paper towels so you got nice clean lines. And this helped. I didn't want to splatter too much, but um, now. Yeah, now you've got two colors done. Yay! All right, so again, I'm gonna let this dry, but I'm gonna do the same thing with green, yellow, green, <laughs> with yellow, green, blue, and purple. Um, so yellow, green, blue, purple. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna let it dry each time, and I'm gonna put the paper towels above and below also. So I'm just gonna fast motion through my next ones. Uh, but yeah, and now I'm gonna do the trans pride flag.
Oh my god, it looks so good, you guys! What? After a couple hours of splatter painting, you get two amazing finished products. First one I want to show is this, the Trans Pride flag. I think it looks pretty awesome. Yay. And next, this one that took the longest, but looks amazing is the pride flag. So I'm really happy with both of these. And now you got two amazing pieces of art that you made yourself that you can put up around the house. So I'm happy. I think it looks good. And I hope that you guys try this yourselves. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye. So for me, it has to be a funny movie, uh, not something too romantic or too sad because then I start feeling things